Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video because once again, I've been proven right and headphones.com's incompetency has been brought to light. In Sean Olive's um, latest testing, he has showed that the Harman Target, the IE2019 that you know everyone was like, oh my god, it's so bad, man. We just need this 5128 target curve, man, because the, the IE2019 is wrong. And <laughs> Out of all of these targets, it was the highest score, and you know, you can say that it's not like statistically different from like these three, but you know, at the same time, it still like happened to score the highest, and it's still much higher than this, um, you know, JM1 target that headphones.com is like, oh my god, this is the next evolution. I'm gonna do all this, you know, math with like, you know, the ear canal of the 5128 and this hammer show and Mahler data, you know. These people are complete idiots. They're focused on the wrong things. And this is what happens, you know. You spend, like, over a year, you know. You know, it's kind of interesting in some sense because I used to do this, like, diffuse field downward tilt thing. But I eventually, you know, had a revelation and, you know, realized I was wrong. And, you know, Harman 2019 is the best. But this was, like, last year, right? And we still have these headphones.com guys in denial over the fact that Harman 2019 is the best target curve. And Sean Olive has gone out and demonstrated that it is the best. And, I mean, what else is there to say, really? These are all the target curves tested, as you can see here. We have, like, a modified version of the 2018 over-year target per another study. And, you know, another sound guy's target curve. And it's just, like, <laughs> it's so funny in some sense that... Harman 2019 is right, even though this is what I was saying, because, you know, first of all, like, okay, I'll get back to this later. Okay, so if we look at, you know, Harman's 2013 reference study with the Rebel F208 loudspeaker, how they calibrated the speakers was with a, um, the steady state frequency response of each loudspeaker was measured separately using a three, three by three, um, array of non, of nine omnidirectional microphones and, you know, they saw, say all these things, you know, separated by two feet. While I don't have, like, the um, omnidirectional microphone, like, array where I can just, like, have nine of them, what I did for my calibration of my loudspeakers is have, you know, a single microphone, but, you know, measure it nine times, you know, around two feet apart. Obviously, it can be perfectly equal, but I only, you know, equalized below around, like, 300, 400 hertz because... It was already extremely close to the target curve above there and the speakers are already flat on axis and I don't want to damage the on axis response where it's not necessary. But, you know, I have the resources to directly compare an ideal loudspeaker system to, you know, earphones and headphones. And with this, you know, I'm able to blind test various target curves and really easily come to the conclusion that none of these target curves that these guys say are you know, the best are as good as Harman, i.e. 2019. And it's just, like, funny in some sense because these guys don't do any testing. They just want to, you know, sell as many headphones as possible with their, you know, preference balance and stuff. These guys are, like, not to be taken seriously. They're complete jokes. And, yeah, I mean, clearly Harman, i.e. 2019 is the best. And one, another thing I wanted to bring up is that, like, some guy here, like, said, you know, crazy that the man himself had to take out time of his day to um, debunk people like Char. And this is in reference to... Um, the, um, you know, the preference model, how I like, you know, say that a headphone at the top is, you know, the best, even though <laughs> the RMSC is 6.705, but it's hilarious that these people think I don't know these things because, you know, I honestly probably know more than all of them combined, except for like arguably like Sean Olive. And I, I have like mentioned this and also like, I'm aware that, you know, after 10 kilohertz, the model isn't taken kind of, so you're gonna have like a headphone with perfect compliance here and you know it can just be like to the sky here to the floor here and it won't be you know rated highly but you know these guys just like assume you know i don't know anything for whatever reason but um yeah so like for example if like a headphone is like a 90 out of 100 and there's one that's like 85 out of 100 i'm not gonna like say the 85 is like a horrible score or something it's like <laughs> I mean, they're still, like, pretty good, right? And there can be other things, like, the 90 plus would have, like, bad 10 kilohertz plus performance or something like that, and the 85 might have exceptional performance past there. And these are, you know, possible reasons why, you know, the RMSE is only 6.705. And, 
you know, and these people will like take it as some excuse to say like something like this is like the fat freak um, Scarlet Mini, you know, which is kind of hyped up by the bad guy, good audio reviews community with the horrible predictive preference rating of 10.09. There's no way to kind of like extrapolate um, what Sean Olive is saying here and saying these garbage headphones, especially, you know, most of the headphones that the headphones.com community like shills these days is like around in the low 70s, maybe low 80s territory. There's nothing really in the 90s that they're hyping up like the Truth Your Nova. And if you look at the Truth Your Nova um, amplitude response, it is extremely compliant to the Harman target below 10 kilohertz, not only below 10 kilohertz, but extremely compliant above 10 kilohertz as well, which very few other headphones are doing. And that's only with the foam tips, of course. And while the harm target is defined to 20 kilohertz, um, there are like other considerations, like maybe the measurement rigs are not that accurate, but regardless, the Harman 2019 target is defined to 20 kilohertz on the 711 coupler, and the um, Truth Ear Nova is very compliant to that with the foam tips. And, you know, this goes to show that the Truth Ear Nova is the best IEM in the world. And even if you like, you know, want to bring this up, like, for example, 6.705, that means like if the Truth Ear Nova has a score of 92 out of 100, you can say, oh, you know, it's statistically tied to 99 out of 100 nearly. And, you know, yeah, it is actually like 99 because it scores like a 92.3 out of 100 with the triple and foam tips, so 99 out of 100. And, you know, that's another reason to say that the Truth Nova is the best IEM in the world. And, you know, I'm really certain that if they used the Truth Nova in these blind tests, it would score higher than any other IEM in the world. And, you know, at the end of the day, once again, Shar audio is proven right, and these guys are complete idiots.